Hey guys, Holly Haven here. Andy Haven. And we are your no filter North Texas real estate team. And uh, we're here to share with you the market update, right? So we do this every month. Um, these are numbers from September. Yes. And we're just gonna dive right in and tell you guys what's happening. The sky is not yet falling. So prepare yourself for some good news. Well, and we call this the September market update, but it's in the month of October. And we use the numbers from the month of September because it is the full month update of statistics that we have. So it's just a full, better wide range of numbers that we can yeah. use for all of our cities here. Yeah, so we're gonna start with Dallas. You wanna dive in? Yeah, so in Dallas, we have an average list price this month of 733,170. This is up last month immensely. It's up $100,000 from $643,000 last month. This just means that we had some higher priced properties in the month of September that did sell. Um, our sales price to list price ratio is again at 99%. This is great. We are selling at our list price yeah, pretty, pretty much. much. We're almost at our list price. Um, our days to sell are 34 days. We are up a little bit from that last month at 29 days. Number of new listings is up at 100, at not 100, 1,400. <laughs> 1,400, I don't know numbers. Um, expired listings are at 1338. And then months of inventory, we are at four. A stable seller's market would be at six. So we are still in a buyer's market. A stable market, not a seller's market. Would be at six. I just misspoke a little. She knows what she means. She just doesn't know what she's saying. It's fine. All right, guys. So Dallas is looking really good. Like 34 days in the market. That's basically nothing. So let's dive right into Frisco. So Frisco um, average list price was eight fifty four. Um, so 854,000, we're up about 30,000 from the month prior. So guys, this is the interesting thing. All you're hearing in the news is that real estate is coming to a dead stop. People are not buying houses. Houses are not selling. Interest rates are crazy. But guess what? Our average list price is still going up. And these are properties that have sold. They're selling at like 98, 99% of list price. That's huge as well, right? So we are not seeing big price decreases. We're not seeing value drops. We are um, seeing this market is still moving. We just have fewer numbers of properties moving. So everything still looks really strong. Days to sell was 33. We're just up from 28. That's still a great number um, here for the fall months. We had 214 new listings while 285 listings expired. That's where that low inventory comes in. So we're not replenishing the inventory um, as quickly as they're expiring or selling. And then we have months of inventory, two months. Guys, that is called a seller's market. So yes, we have to be a little more negotiable on terms because of interest rates, but we are still finding that sellers are not having to drop prices, take big you know, decreases or really dump their property. That's not the market we're in. So that's great news for everyone. Sellers do know, need to know though, that you do need to be a little bit more flexible right now since there's not a lot of options on the market. You might be the only option. And if you do want to sell your property, you do need to be a little bit more flexible with buyers. So yeah, just something to consider. Yep. Negotiable items in the contract make a big difference. It's not always about price. Maybe it's move out date. Maybe it's a lease back. Maybe it's um, a seller concession to help them buy down the rate. There's a lot of things we can do to still make that transaction really successful and a win-win for, for all parties. Yeah. So that would be our goal. Yeah, for sure. So moving on to Prosper, our average list price in the city of Prosper is 986,000. This is up $20,000 from last month. We are almost at the million dollar mark here in Prosper. We've kind of been sitting at that cusp since this February. So we kind of been seeing <laughs> that for a while. Um, our sales price to list price ratio is at 97%. We are down a little bit. That is probably because of a lot of builder homes. And it's gonna be seller concessions as well. Yeah. Like I said, if a, if a buyer needs to buy down a rate, um, and we have some other videos where we've talked about that, but if a buyer needs to buy down the rate, the seller is the only one who can do that um, on their behalf, not the only one. Other people in the process can, but the buyer cannot buy down their own rate on that two one buy down. So that's where these numbers are kind of important. When we're seeing a 97% sell list to sell price ratio, that 3% very likely went to some kind of buy down. Yeah, for sure. So moving on to days to sell, we are at 57 days. Again, this is a lot of new builds. So they are going to kind of skew that number a little bit from Frisco and Dallas. Um, number of new listings is down. We're right at 96. This is very, very low, very low new inventory. Um, number of expired listings is at 120. That is up from last month as well. And then we are still at three months of inventory on the market. Again, a lot of Prosper and Salina are new builds. So our numbers are very skewed considering what Frisco and Dallas have to offer. 
Right, and that's because those new construction properties will go on the market before they're complete. And then, so it looks like our days on market looks a little longer for some of those properties than if it's a traditional resale property. Yeah. So that's where those numbers get a little skewed for Prosper and Salina, um, and even parts of Frisco as it's growing. So our final one here is Salina. It is up on that list price average. We're up to 735,000. That is up from 688 last month, guys. Um, list to sell ratio, 98.6. Again, we're seeing these almost at 100%. These are great numbers um, that really indicate how, how well the North Texas market is doing. We have 39 as our average days to sell. That is a very low number, guys. Excuse our background noise. Uh, we're, we're out here today at Little Wooden Penguin. They've been so gracious to give us a space to shoot our video, but we do have some outdoor noise. Um, so that 39 days to sell is a great number. She mentioned earlier, six months is what we call balanced. Um, we don't see that market very often in North Texas. We're usually somewhere around the three to four um, months to sell and three to four months of inventory. And so right now in Prosper, for the example, we're 39 days to sell on average. Um, and we're at four months of inventory. So guys, we're still in a really strong market um, in all these North Texas areas. We have 110 new listings and we had 117 expired listings. So again, you can see that our inventory numbers are getting a little out of whack here, um, which is what's going to push us into the spring market more than likely. And we're gonna see some very different numbers coming in spring where we are gonna see these prices continue to rise. We're gonna see days on market continue to go down. Um, it's going to be a very interesting Q1, but we are going to keep you guys updated all the way through the end of 2023. What else do we need to add? The one thing I did want to add about Salina's months of inventory, something you have to consider is we have a much, much smaller population number than a lot of other cities, but people are moving in. So that numbers of months of inventory is based off of our current population, not people moving in. So four months seems excessive, yeah. but we have a ton of people moving in. So that's not actually that high. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And we're still seeing lots of those new construction skewing yeah. those numbers a little bit. So guys, we are in a really strong market. Please turn off the mass media, put down the newspaper. If you're still reading it, I guess they still print a newspaper. Um, <laughs> reach out to us for questions. We will give you actual answers based on data. The numbers just don't lie. And uh, we hope to have the opportunity to earn your business or at least be a resource for you. So like, subscribe, leave us some comments, ask us some questions. We are here to help guide you through the process. Um, so Let's make your own haven. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye. Bye.